I'm very excited to bring you a video on Moments T-Series 18mm wide angle lens. I've always thought what's the point of having an external wide angle lens when you already have a built-in wide angle and ultra wide. So let's see how it compares to those as well as the build quality and shot quality. And there will be a link in the description below to buy these if you want to. Also please note that that is an affiliate link so I do get a small kickback from those purchases but it does help this channel grow and I'd really appreciate it. Now this is Moments 18mm T-Series wide angle lens. I'm so excited to get into this. Really nice packaging, branding, everything on there, everything you'd expect from Moment. Nice slick box. Nice little card there, an image from their shots on the website. And a little card to tell you about turning it 90 degrees and how to do that correctly. Nice little cloth bag here, which we've come to know and love from Moment for their lenses. Now this is the 18mm lens. Now the cap is kind of rubbery, very flexible which I like. Got a little tab there to put it on and off. And a nice little bit of felt kind of material there as well to keep the glass safe as well in case you kind of bash that in your pocket or anything like that. Now this is one very, very, very nice looking lens. It's quite chunky, it's quite big. You can feel how strong that is. It's kind of metallic structure, 18 millimeters. Amazing, beautiful glass on this. It really looks absolutely stunning. Really, really well built. You can see their twist and lock-in system on the lens here. If I turn it that way, you can see it a bit easier. So it's like a key system. You just turn it 90 degrees and it's in. Okay, so this is the Moment case that was sent to me by Moment themselves for the iPhone 15 Pro. And I have to say the packaging and the branding for this has got a lot better as well. It's always been good, but with the iPhone sort of T-series lenses that they're doing, as well as the ones that work for the Android, it's come along a really, really nice way. It's kind of like a bit of a Batman looking case here, I really love. Now I put this bracket in already just to show you how it looks. It doesn't come in there with the box, it comes there separately. In a case like this, and then you just drop it into the phone, pop it in and click. So then to put it into the phone case, there used to be a line here, which you then aligned with the line on your case, but it doesn't seem to be a line here at the moment. So I'm guessing it's pretty much as it used to be. Twist and lock. So this is what we're looking at now with the phone case. It matches so well, it looks really, really nice. And I'll be attaching this to my iPhone 15 Pro. See how easy that clips on. Lovely. And it looks pretty good to go. Really nice little setup, very sleek. Dare I say it's sexy. Now let's take this lens on the road and see what kind of shots we can get with it. Now the first thing I wanted to have a look at with this lens is the sharpness corner to corner of the T-Series wide angle. Now as you can see here, there's a nice shot here. The focus is actually in the middle of this framing, but if we zoom into two times, even though the focus isn't on this section of the image, it's still pretty sharp. And across the whole image in good daylight, you're gonna get absolutely fantastic quality for all the shots. And you can see the detail in this chopped down tree how much detail you capture from corner to corner and also how clear it is. Now with this lens, they're using a six element HD glass design and it gives you a hundred degree field of view. So it gives you a much wider sort of field of view in a landscape mode than you would get for any other kind of wide angle lens. And it is a really, really useful tool to have. As you can see, the colors stay exactly the same. Sometimes with lenses, you can get a yellowish tint or a slightly pinkish tint in some cases. But with this, you can see you get a really nice coloring across the whole image and it's very natural to how you see in your eyes. Now with movement as well, sometimes you can get a bit of a jittery footage with a wide angle lens or an external lens in general. You do not get that with this lens and it keeps the sharpness, even if you've got something in a shallow depth of field, really, really well. And again, as you can see here, when I pull out from this sign, the details retained and you can actually get quite close to a subject and still keep the focus nice and crystal clear from corner to corner on this lens. Okay guys, so I wanted to do a comparison in a low light situation. So now I have one light bulb that's a warm color temperature to my right and my fish tank, which is quite far away in the back corner. To my left, we have a little bit of dimming light coming from the evening coming in now, and that's it. So this is the wide angle lens, the native wide angle lens on the iPhone 15 Pro, and it's really impressive in a low light situation. You can see it's pretty sharp from corner to corner. There's still no noise and it's still nice and clear all around the whole image. So let's take a look at the ultra wide angle lens and see how that fares in a low light situation. Now this is the ultra wide angle lens and as you can see, as that lens widens, it ends up bringing in a lot more noise to the image and it's much more crunchy in the corners. It just doesn't look very nice. And in a low light situation, you really, really, really want to avoid using that ultra wide angle lens built into your phone. Daytime, it works really great. 
but in low light situations, it just doesn't cut the mustard. So let's throw the Moment T-Series 18 millimeter wide angle lens to see how that compares to the built-in lenses. So this is Moment's 18 millimeter wide angle lens attached to the native wide angle lens of the iPhone 15 Pro. And I have to say, I am super, super impressed with it. As you can see, it's not that much difference just using the natural wide angle lens. So you're getting a really nice amount of light into the sensor of your phone, which is allowing you to get rid of any kind of potential noise that you get with an ultra wide, and you get a much wider field of view. So in a low light situation, this lens works really, really well. As long as there's some light, you should still be able to get a really lovely, beautiful, clean, clear picture with the T-Series wide angle lens. And don't forget, if you're enjoying this video, smash that subscribe button and hit the like button. It really helps this channel grow. And also I am making a review video of all the T-Series lenses on the Moment line. So do stay tuned for those. Now I really wanted to compare the native wide angle lens of this iPhone 15 Pro to the ultra wide angle lens and then to the Moment's wide angle lens. With the native wide angle lens on the iPhone 15 Pro, you always get a really nice image with this. But at the standing I'm at now, I'm not capturing the whole church. Moving to the Moment wide angle lens, the 18 millimeter, you can get a really, really nice shot of the whole building. Ultra wide gives you a complete shot of everything outside of it as well, and sort of the peripheral area of the landscape. Here you can see with the green fencing, if you look to the left and the right, it's still all in shot and it kind of goes out of shot. Whereas here with the Moment wide, you're capturing a little bit more than that, giving you two times more landscape field of view. The ultra wide angle lens gives you a lot more, but that may be distracting to what you're filming and may not be necessarily the right tool for your purpose of filming. You can see the comparison here of how much landscape visually you get between the three lenses. So who is this lens really gonna work well for? For me, I would say if you're a narrative story film teller like I am, then this is really, really good lens to have in your kit. It gives you a wider aspect ratio than your native wide on your phone, and it doesn't have all the distractions of an ultra wide that you'd get, say all of this, but much wider and you get vehicles perhaps that you don't want in there. It gives you a nice in-between kind of lens for that. This lens would also be perfect for people who work in real estate, so making promo videos on buildings, landscapes, architecture, that kind of thing. It really would lend itself really, really beautifully to that kind of work. The detail you can capture, the quality of the image, the sharpness, it will really show off any kind of building that you want to show and sell to people in such a fantastic way. And I think it really would complement anyone's work. Vlogging will be really, really one of the top, top ways to use this lens. As I said, with an ultra wide, you do get a huge wide landscape shot with that kind of lens built into your phone. But with this, you get a nice, nice, crisp, sharp image from corner to corner. And even in low light, it works while still getting your surroundings in. In conclusion, I absolutely love this lens. I have to be honest, I really didn't think there was any point in a wide angle lens. and I was a bit nervous about reviewing this in case I just thought there really isn't any need for it. But to be honest, it's so good even in low light compared to the ultra wide, I think I'd rather use this instead. It's just so versatile and can be used for anything. And I really, really enjoyed it and had a lot of fun using it as well. I do wish that they put a slight back cap on the back here just to cover that part of the lens, but it's a minor detail. And overall, I'm very, very impressed with the build quality. And it does feel like the T-Series lenses are a step above what the M-Series were. So it's well worth the purchase. And again, the link is in the description down below. Now, Moment do have their own filmmaking app. So if you wanna check out my tutorial on that, then hit the video right here right now where you can learn all about the app that allows you to manually select your lenses and keep control of your shots. See you on the next one. Take care. Bye bye.